Okay, so basically the first thing I do is take this and put that through my brows. And then I take this and it's in that color. And I take this brush, looks like this. And I just kind of fill them in a little bit. I always start at the tail. And you really don't need a lot of it. Just like a little bit. And I do it really lightly in the front, like kind of just with whatever's left. Just kind of run it through, just so it kind of fades. And then I take this brush, which has like a little spoolie with hair in it. And I just, it's, hope you can see that. And I just kind of brush through. Then I take this concealer. It's not really my favorite concealer, but it's all I have. So I just kind of make do. I just. Put that on the back of my hand. And then I use this concealer brush from Morphe. Looks like that. And this is what it looks like. And then I just kind of dip in the concealer and clean up my brows. So they're all nice and sharp. Like, look at the difference between this one and this one. Big difference. And it also helps kind of prime your eyes for eyeshadow and stuff. Then I just kind of take whatever's left and just kind of... <laughs> Sorry about the dogs. Just kind of take whatever's left and just rub it through my eyelid. Then I use this foundation. It's the little one because I don't use very much. And it's just It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I swear by this foundation. Just put a little bit of that on my hand. 
I'll just put the rest on my chin or something. Then I take this brush, Morphe M439. It looks like this. It's a little dirty. Actually, it's pretty dirty, but I use it a lot. And I always make sure to blend it down my neck so it's like seamless and there's no lines. Because that's not cute. And you just kind of do it in circular, like buffing motions. Sorry if you can hear the dogs. They're playing. Okay. Some days I don't even put concealer under my eyes. I just kind of powder them, but I'm gonna put concealer on today. Just for the sake of the video. Just take the same concealer that I used for my brows. And I do like this weird little line on my jaw. It's gonna make my contour look sharp. And I also use this concealer. Same as earlier, just a different shade. This one's more white. And I also have a yellow one, which is more for like redness or brightening kind of stuff. I just put a little bit of that under my eyes, my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Then I take this Real Techniques buffing brush. Looks like that. Also pretty dirty. It's pretty much just like the Morphe one, just a little smaller and thinner, basically. Kind of looks like it's a contour brush, I guess. At least I think. Then I just pat that all in. I do more patting motions with this one instead of like circular, just so it kind of makes it more full coverage, I guess. And make sure you get in the inner corners and stuff. Because a lot of times you'll get pretty, it gets pretty dark in there on most people. So always make sure you get in there. Then I take this Wet n Wild contour kit. I have the Anastasi one, but to be honest, I actually like this one a lot better. It's pretty much the same for like... $35 cheaper so I like this one a lot better and I just kind of put that on my under eyes to brighten and on my eyelids to set the concealer we put put it on my chin my nose and my forehead and before you do this you should usually like set your face with pretty much any kind of powder I usually use like a translucent powder, like this one is a good example. It's by e.l.f., just translucent powder. But my skin's so dry that I really don't need to set it, otherwise it just looks cakey and not cute. And then I just take the other side, and I take this crown brush. I believe it's just the contour brush. got it in my Ipsy bag, so I'm not completely sure. But I just take that, and I take the darker side and just run it through. Put on my cheekbones, my temples, really lightly on my temples though, because I don't really like my forehead that contoured, because I already have a pretty small forehead, so I don't really feel like it needs that contoured. <coughs> I 
basically where you contour at you just kind of like this is a good trick like you just go right here and then you just go down it's usually where you would contour don't go like it's not gonna really tell you much contour on your lip sometimes i contour my nose sometimes i don't just depends on my mood i more contour the tip of my nose than the rest just because i don't like the tip of my nose just kind of contour that then I'll just kind of take the same brush I used for my concealer and just kind of go under my contour and it makes it look pretty sharp. It's a good way if you don't feel like baking. I usually don't. Then I just take my blush, which I'm going to use this Tarte one today, and it's in the shade Party. And then I take this Luxie 514 brush. Looks like this. And just put that on my apples and my cheeks and kind of brush it back. This is like a very natural color. Pretty much wear this blush most of the time. Then I go to my eyes and today I'm gonna use Hue to Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. It looks like this. It's all like reds and pretty colors and all that. Then I'm just gonna take this color right down here with Morphe M441 brush. It looks like this. And I just put that slightly above my crease. Just so when I look straight forward like this, you can see it. And you just do like windshield wiper motions and I kind of do circular while I do that. Go back and forth. Then I'm going to take this shade right here the top middle kind of like a orangey brown kind of color and I just go slightly under that color that I put before same motion same brush I usually use like four brushes for my eyes on most days Then I'm going to take this color in the corner. None of these have names, but I mean this palette's like $27 and it's amazing. It's really small and you can just take it with you anywhere. Just kind of put that shade like right where I put the first or the second one that I just put down. Just kind of put it over it. Making sure to start in the outer corner and working my way in. If you start from in here, It'll kind of make it, your eyes look more dark and it'll make you look more tired and stuff. You want the inner corner to be more bright. Just blend that all out. Make sure there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take this color, the top corner. It's like a more reddish color. And you don't have to use this palette. You can use whatever palette you want. Just kind of work your way from lightest to darkest. It's usually what I do. Any palette I use. Doesn't matter color or anything. I just kind of do it that way. Then I take this brush, which is a lot like the other one that I just used, but it's more dense, so it's good for packing and stuff. And this one is the M433, also by Morphe. Most of my brushes are by Morphe. Then I'm going to take this color in the top. Well, it's my left, but it might be your guys' right. 
I just got pack that on the outer corner. This palette does have quite a bit of fallout, so I try not to I try to work it my way up to building it instead of just packing it all on at once. I also kind of bring this in to my inner corner, like slightly, about halfway, kind of like that. Just kind of like my crease to be pretty defined. I just pack that on. I know it looks crazy right now, but then I just kind of take that color, a little bit of that, and just kind of blend everything out so it's soft looking and stuff. Then I'll just kind of keep going back and forth using it. And I'll take some of the, like the red and a little bit of the brown. And I just kind of pack that on the very outer corner. So it's slightly smoky. Usually this all takes me about 15 minutes to do on most days. I just keep going back with that kind of skin tone shade. Just make sure there's no harsh lines. Just keep going back and forth till you feel content. And if you have hooded eyelids, eyelids like basically what you do, you just kind of want to make your crease a little bit higher than like where your crease usually is. I don't really have that hooded of eyelids, but I still kind of make my crease a little higher up. And then I just take this brush, which is like an elf brush. It looks like this, it's just like a little dome eyeshadow brush. And I just kind of take that vanilla shade and I just kind of pack it on right here I make sure it's like the most intense in my inner corner and then I just kind of pat it out so it's kind of like ombre I guess it's the best way to describe it You can just kind of build that up till you think it looks good. And then I just kind of blend the two shades together. Make sure there's no harsh lines. And I just kind of go back with that dark brown. Make sure I didn't lose any color. And then blend, blend, blend. Lots of blending. After that, I just got this brush. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's by Sonia Kashuk, and it's like, oh, it says right here. The Tools 31. Looks like this. It's just like a really dense pencil brush. Like that for like packing colors on the bottom. Sorry if I'm horrible at explaining this. Just kind of do the same steps that you did your top.
And then the dark brown, I just kind of keep it, once again, just on the outer part. My eyes are really big, and I kind of like them to look more almond shaped, I guess, and like cat eye. So, making it darker on the outer part and bright on the in inners makes it kind of have that cat eye effect. Then I take the Morphe M138, just another pencil brush, but this one's more fluffy, so it's better for like blending stuff out. And I usually just like to blend like very edges, otherwise you kind of like lose everything. And I take that same brush, just kind of run it through like the skin tone shade and I just sharpen up out here so it doesn't look so messy it's a really good trick so you don't have to like use the tape method and stuff just makes it quicker and easier just take like a pencil brush or something or even your eyeliner brush or not eyeliner brush even an eyeliner brush anything will basically do the trick Then I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Lavender Snow. Looks like this, it's just really, really purple. But it really makes my cheekbones like pop. And then I use, I have no clue what this brush is, but I think it's just like a big fluffy eyeshadow brush, but it's my favorite brush to highlight. I haven't found anything to compare. I just put that like right here and make sure like Right here is the most intense, and then I just kind of blend it out. I put it right above my brow bone, or not brow bone, right above my brow. Just do the same thing on both sides. I put some right on my cupid's bow. My chin, like, I usually do like one side of my nose, kind of. Like that. I don't really know why I do it like that, but I just do. And then I take that e.l.f. brush I used for right here, and I just kind of take the highlighter and I put it right on my brow bone. And then I take it in the inner corners. Like my inner corner is like super bright. Like look at the difference. My eyes just look so much brighter and look more awake. And I usually wake up at like 8 o'clock in the morning. So I want to look pretty awake. Some days I'll add like a winged eyeliner. And when I do that I usually just use... I don't know where it is. I usually use the Wet n Wild eyeliner in the shade black. It's my favorite eyeliner. It has like a tip like that. Only eyeliner I pretty much use. It's like my favorite. Then I just put mascara on and I use this mascara. It's my favorite. I have tons of other ones, but this one's my top favorite. I always make sure to get my hmm. always get my lower lash shoes too. And then I kind of just kind of go back and forth, build it up.
And you can really see the difference between this mascara is like amazing. It's my favorite. Let's do the same to the other lash. And I usually don't wear lashes or anything, like on a daily basis. I just kind of leave my eyes like this. And I'll just pretty much... I never use, like, the same lipstick every day. Just kind of mix it up. But I usually use, like, a brownish color or, like, a rosy red color like this one. Kind of like to switch it up. Today I'm going to use... Actually, no, I'm not going to use that one. Today I'm going to use... The Ofra lipstick, and it's the shade Ipsy, I believe. Ipsy Unzip is the shade. Now I start with the bottom lip first, and I start in the middle, just kind of. I slightly overdraw my bottom lip just because it's uneven. Thank you to my brother Josh for that. So I just kind of... I love this color. It's so pretty. I usually use like this kind of color, or, like brown, like Jeffree Star's, I think it's Scorpio, maybe? I'm not sure. But I use pretty much like a brown color, like Kat Von D's, Bow and Arrow, Lolita, those color kind of colors. Don't really like just like straight up nudes on myself. I feel like they just blend in with my skin tone too much and it just makes me look weird. Then, just kind of like fix my hair, whatever. Sometimes I'll use, basically after this, I just set my face. I'll use, I like setting sprays, so I'll sometimes use Urban Decay All Nighter. I like that one. Or the MAC Prep and Prime. I, I like that one too, but I use that more for like eyeshadows and stuff. The Mario Badescu in this one. Then I have this one, which is Mario Badesco 2, which I'm not actually sure if these are meant to like set your makeup, but I use them for that reason. And the, this one smells like roses, and this one smells like cucumbers. 
today I'm going to use the Prep and Prime. Just make sure you shut your eyes. I'm pretty sure it won't feel good in your eyes. Just spray. That's basically it. Take a look. 